film on, yeah? What is it in Luton? Sorry. Well, it's the same as it is in Harpen in here. Okay. Um, just let me finish about the Pelican Crossings first, yeah? Okay. And the main difference with the Pelican Crossing is that the traffic light sequence is different from the Puffin, i.e. it's going to have a flashing amber. Right. What the flashing amber means is that when the cross is clear, I can go. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, I presume uh, uh, as soon as the pedestrian is off the crossing, I can carry on. Okay. The consequence of not carrying on is that the car behind me or the motorbike behind me is going to get a bit peeved and at the least they're going to toot the horn at me. At the worst, they're going to they're gonna overtake me and a pedestrian might well step out onto the crossing at that stage and run them over, yeah? Yeah. The puffing crossing, which is pedestrian user friendly, um, and it's very important you don't get a bit confused now because with these new, uh, uh, new style crossings and, and even on the puffins down here, uh, on the pelicans down here, we do have cameras on the top, which I don't know why we have on the top of the um, uh, uh, pelican lights down here. Right. But the best way of actually spotting the puffin down here is that we have actually got the very latest type puffin crossings is where they've got the new style boxes with the red and green man and you can spot them a mile away, yeah? Mm -hmm. And right next to the button that the pedestrian presses, a red light will come on right next to the button. It's a circular red light, yeah? Okay. So you can tell on approach whether that pedestrian's pressed that button or not. If they're standing there and they haven't pressed the button, the light is not going to change. Okay. Yeah? So the advantage of the, um, the puffin crossing is that they will only stay red long enough to let the pedestrians get off the off the crossing yeah right so they can sense what's on the crossing yeah once they get on the pavement it won't hold the traffic up any longer it will change back down the green yeah okay but obviously i still need to be wary of pedestrians who are thinking oh because i've stopped they're going to run for the crossing anyway yeah yeah because the sensors aren't aren't that good that they can quickly switch the lights back again yeah mm -hmm. the sequence of the uh, lights at the at the puffing crossings is that they're normal traffic light sequence. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Exactly the same as the traffic lights. Green, amber, red. Red and amber together, green. Okay. Yeah? Yep. We also tend to get a pedestrian element built into built into traffic lights at an intersection like a crossroads or a junction, yeah? I can always tell if there's a, a pedestrian element built in. How can I tell it? There's a pedestrian element built in. What do, what do pedestrians need to use a puffin or a pelican cross and what do they need to, to have? Do they need to have an app on their iPhone? No. So uh, they need to have what? To press. A, a button to press, press yeah? The button, yeah? So therefore they have a button, yep. that button is going to be mounted in one of them boxes, isn't it? Right, okay. so, so those boxes are going to be visible on approach, yeah? Yep. So if we approach um, a set of traffic lights, yep. you should be able to see that it's got the pedestrian element built in, yeah? Okay. Yep. So therefore there's a possibility sense. that mm -hmm. we call that a combined cross. And there's a bit of confusion about it. Um, we had a bit of confusion years, uh, two years ago. Be, some people called it a hybrid. Right. But I, I think combined is probably the best way of, of covering it, yeah? Okay. Um, I don't know if they have actually sorted it in the name for it yet, but... Uh, but it's but it's combined. It's built into the normal traffic light uh, sequence, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So know your stuff on pedestrian cross. If you know your stuff on pedestrian crossings, you'll have loads of questions to ask me. Okay. If you don't know your stuff, you can't really ask me the questions because you're probably frightened of asking them. Well, yeah. Because you're probably thinking, well, I don't know the answer myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got to know. Yeah. Yep. So it's probably what. It's nearly two years since you've done your theory test, yeah? Mm. Um, have a brush up on it. Yep. I know you've got loads of study to do anyway. Well, yeah, but, I haven't got enough. But, but, but if you don't know the basics about no, it... That's true. Don't forget, it It all goes from the from your part one, which is your theory, mm -hmm. to your part two, which is your driving. Yep. Those two things combined together, if you three. do them to a good standard, you'll be able to teach part three to a good standard, yeah? Yep. You can teach a subject you don't know. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like you're going in to a friend's school tomorrow as a teacher and he's gone off sick and he says, can you take my maths lesson, yeah? If you don't know what one-on-one -on -one is, yeah, mm. um, you'd be better off staying at home, wouldn't you? Yeah, at the so, moment, even that's a 
struggled <laughs> one and one. God. Yeah, I know you worked in a bank, so I know you wouldn't know the answer. Yeah, that, I wouldn't obviously later. know that. So. Yeah, it's two, by the way. Or is it three? <laughs> uh, I'll let you know later. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it is a difficult subject. It's a subject we'll be covering quite a bit because there's, because there's quite a lot of useful information you can get in there. There's quite a lot of things I can play with. Yeah. And, and that's not the reason for doing it. It's, it's not to show off what a sod I am. It's to improve your, yeah. your skills, yeah? Mm-hmm. But you are still doing it. When you watch this video back tonight, you will see that when I come to emerges... Oh, are you actually putting this up, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, but you're going to learn from that, aren't you? No, I will. Yeah? I will. And you are actually, you know, when it's come up to the roundabouts, yep. you are actually checking that it's, that it's clear for me to go. I can promise you, I won't kill you, yeah? Yeah, that's... Yeah? You see, because I'm focusing my attention on that, I'm then, and then, and it merges as well, I'm... Uh, so what am I likely to do if I notice you're not paying attention to me? Mess about more. Mess about more, yeah? Mm. And... How can you uh, what, why, how me and give me the consequences if you haven't even spotted the what, yeah? Yeah. And you, and you won't spot it because you're not watching me, yeah? Yeah. Watch me. Um, obviously, you've got to be watching me and you've got to be watching what's coming up ahead because obviously you need, you know... To yeah, that's where together, I was yeah? struggling. Yeah, so, so when we started off, we had... I actually was, you know, because it's the first time we've done it, I actually gave you time to do a bit of work on the signals. Um, and then I gave you a little bit of time in between where you could have asked me questions relating to pedestrian crossings. Yep. Um, but you seemed a little bit bewildered about oh, what questions am I going to ask you? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And that's why I say it's really, really important to look at the the red and amber areas. Yeah. Go for the red areas first. Yeah. Because yeah? um, the one thing you mustn't let me do is stop over the giveaway line or the stop line on a crossing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the one thing I can't do anyway because of the fact that I'll be open to prosecution myself, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, but I need to know that you know that's important, yeah? Yep. The zigzag lines, there's certain rules there, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, okay, I mustn't, I mustn't park and I mustn't wait, yeah? Or but the other thing I do is I mustn't overtake, yeah? yeah. Um, and just get inside my head and ask me these questions. Um, you know, to be honest, I, I haven't really concentrated on this one. Um, probably because I've watched about ten minutes of it, and I thought. Yeah, as I said, oh, yeah, I to... as I said the other day, we're not actually concentrating on particular PSTs. We're just picking ones that are, that are quite difficult to start getting you to use the tools. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. And you know, I've you know, I've got to, I've got to get you, you know, in a position where you feel comfortable that you know I'm not going to kill you. Yep. Um. So therefore, you're going to be watching me a lot more closely than you are watching the road. It's 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 very natural when you're sitting there. Yeah, I don't know if your wife drives, is she? Yeah. And you better be careful that you answer this, yeah? But you know when you sit beside somebody, uh, we, we won't say your wife because you'd be hung, drawn and quartered, yeah? Yeah. But let's say you're sitting beside... you kipping around yours tonight. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had that happen before. Harry, no, you're not coming around. <laughs> um, yeah, if you, if you sit beside somebody, let's say your brother. Yep. And he might be the crappiest driver in the world, yeah? Mm-hmm. You do find yourself, even if you're not a driving instructor, you do find yourself looking before he's yeah. looking, yeah? Yep. But with me, your trainer, uh, and with the examiner, it's, it's, it's more important to watch them, yeah? yeah. Because even, even if the subject is like we done last week, it's emerging, I won't pull out in front of anybody yeah. And, uh, you know, put the car or air lives or the lives of other road users in danger. I can't, can I, yeah? yeah. Okay, it's possible, you know, I could make a mistake. Uh, but that's my problem in the end, isn't it? Yep. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to put you in, in that kind of danger, yeah? Mm -hmm. But But as soon as I notice that you're not watching me, yep. well, then I will stick in errors, yeah? Yeah. And obviously, because you're not watching me, you're not going to spot the errors, yeah? Mm hmm and, and the most simplest thing to do is to, is to spot the what. Right. But if you haven't spotted it, yeah. you can't deal with it, yeah? Yeah. yeah? So the what's quite easy to spot. Um, and how to analyse it and the remedial action afterwards, then that's probably the harder bit. Yep. But if you don't spot it in the first place, you're not going to deal with it, yeah? Mm. So, so that's why it's really important to watch me. And you will see on your videos the other day is that you were actually... And I can actually tell even without looking at you... Because you're talking, 
you're talking me through something that's that's happened, and all of a sudden I I come to a roundabout which is not even anywhere near the subject today, and you're going, uh, and then your voice tapers off. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're waiting for me to uh, get across the roundabout. Yeah. But I can deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But so bear that in mind because that's naturally the, that that's causing me an issue. But it's because I'm. You, Look, you're treating him as a learner, and then all of a sudden you can't treat him as a learner. Do you know that it's the, the different? Yeah. You can't dif- you know, I'm struggling to differentiate yeah, between yeah, the two. Yeah, yeah, we do know. I mean, that's where I'm struggling. Yeah, we do know there's a difference, and obviously, you know, we're not stupid, but we know the the layout of the part three exam is not is is not perfect. Mm. I think probably the DSA know it's not perfect. Yep. But obviously, it's not going to change at the moment because the money is not there to change it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure the will is there to change it. Yeah. But you know, I mean, let's say you know we uh, we uh, we take somebody on who's been doing some practice on a pink license, yeah. Yep. They've obviously got a different job to do there because a real learner will kill you, yeah. Yeah. So they do have to uh, check what the learner's doing and check the junction yeah. as well because they can't go on the learner's yeah. uh, interpretation of what's it, what's a safe, uh, a safe emerge and what's not a safe emerge. Yep. But you, but your trainer and examiner will know that, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry it is that way. But until they change it, that's the way it is. Yeah, yeah we just got to um, deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um, it's easier said than done. <laughs> yeah, it is easier it, said it's, than it's done. It's just the mentality, isn't it? You've but you have never, but you have never been instructed, uh, and you haven't been on a pink license. Therefore, it should be reasonably easy for you to mm-hmm. to get out of the habit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so I can promise you that I'm not going to do anything that's going to. Yeah, that's going to put us in danger. Yeah. Um, but I will play around with the things that we are actually working on today. Yeah. Okay. And it's and it's important, as I say, to 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 read those things that you printed off, and look at what's the what's the big red areas uh, concerning signals and pedestrian crossings. Yeah. yeah? Um, with signals, it's going to be timing of signals. Yeah. yeah. I preferred the signals because I knew about them. Yeah, and that's obviously. All it is. Obviously, it's a smaller subject, mm. but it's a subject you do have to keep an eye on. I have actually seen people actually go out and just deal with the pedestrian crossing side of it and not, Forget about not go anywhere near the signals. Mm. And I have actually seen you know, the examiner not actually signal at all. Yeah? Yep. Um, and on the other hand, I've, I have read um, a write-up a few weeks ago on the forum about the whole subject of pedestrian crossings and signals was related to signals. Right. And it was all down to the signals. Uh, it was obviously a mistake made on the signals, and it w- it wasn't following through. It was a bit of controversy about it in the end, anyway. Um, mm-hmm. But the whole subject concerned signals. Never once on the subject uh, was pedestrians brought into it or pedestrian crossings. Right. You know, so it's a case of suck it and see it. But yep. um, mm-hmm. yeah, but you will get used to it and. Obviously, I picked a different subject, uh, a difficult subject today, to yeah. give you a chance to actually start starting to work on it. Because pedestrians are going to come into every aspect of my driving, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we need to know what pedestrians... The sooner we get used to it, the better. Yeah. Mm. I mean, pedestrians on, on crossings in, in normal driving, yep. it's a controlled situation, yeah? Yep. Um, providing I check my mirror on approach and I scan, everything is going to be hunky-dory and quite safe, isn't it? Yep. But pedestrians outside that area... It's a minefield, isn't it? You know, they can, you know, come from anywhere. And the other thing with pedestrian crossings and in between pedestrian crossings, we have these things what we call at a central um, refuge. Yep. Uh, Some people call uh, call them safe havens, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's not a crossing, but it's a place where pedestrians can cross one half of the road and wait there, yeah? Yep. But obviously I need to know that you know what these are. Yeah. Um, it's a place where pedestrians can wait. So you treat them as so, two different crossings. Yeah, yeah, so... Well, it's not a crossing. It's, uh, treat... Well, yeah. yeah. So, you can go. on approach, you don't say to me... Um, yeah, because it's phase two, you wouldn't say to me... Well, well, let's take a fact. Let's say it's phase one. Mm-hmm. On approach, you say to me, the safe haven there, the pedestrian waiting there. Yep. Don't say to me, don't stop for them. Don't stop for them unless they step onto the onto the road, yeah. Okay. Because obviously, not, if you said we don't stop for them and they do step onto the road, they don't stop. That'll be it. Uh, well, I'm obviously not going to run them over, yeah. Mm. 
So, if it's phase two, ask me what I'm going to do about the pedestrian waiting at the safe haven. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Um, or if, you, if you've been a bit late getting in with the question and you see me lift off and you feel the car starting to slow down, no, Tony, keep moving. Yep. And then ask me, um, did I know what I was doing wrong there? Mm-hmm. You know, because I might well know the answer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you know, I might have known that I, that I shouldn't let the um, I shouldn't encourage a pedestrian to cross there. Yeah. Yep. But you know, if if you're not noticing me slowing down, the next thing is is that if I have a quick look in the mirror and I quick look around me and I can see that it's safe, I may well even stop them and beckon them across. Yeah. Yep. So you then got loads of problems to deal with. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're getting in with, uh, on the phase two. On the phase one, you'd be you'd be telling me exactly what to do because it's control and educate. Yep. On the phase two, you'd be getting in with a nice, well-placed question earlier on, yeah? Yep. And that's that's being proactive. Mm-hmm. Okay, if, if you're not being proactive, then I might get the error in. Then you have to deal with it. Yep. Okay, you're not going to walk away with a six. But, you know, you don't give up and say, oh, my God, I really stuffed in there, because you haven't. Mm. Yeah, okay. You've been reactive. Yeah. And you've now got some work to do to sort it out. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you, but do sort it out. But don't go worrying about it. It's happened back there. Concentrate on the. Put it right. Yeah, put so, it right. The next one. Yeah. Yep. Um. But you certainly would have to mention it afterwards. Mm-hmm. You know, to make sure that I know that I've made the error there and how and the consequences of that error. And then you need to check my knowledge at the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it is difficult, and you know everybody does pedestrian crossings. You ask anybody when they've done pedestrian crossings for the first time, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Paracetamol, I think. Yeah, it's it's mainly because there's so much happening, mm. uh, and that, and that's what makes it difficult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but you will get used to that. It's it's a it's a really good subject to work uh, to hone your skills on. Yeah. Yep. Because they're everywhere, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. You, yep. You know, if I just take you down roads where there's no pedestrians, then you're not going to learn much, are you? Yeah, that's true. But especially around there, I mean... That's you, just... You know, what, it's a half five of the evening, it's well, five o'clock around there. We need to curfew them in, don't we? Say? Curfew them at four yeah, o'clock, yeah. and that'll be... Similar. Yeah, but they're an interesting subject, and uh, I always find it's an interesting subject. Um, mm. Well, it was certainly interesting. <laughs> very testing. Yeah, it is very testing. Uh, because, so. you know, the phase two... Is is different from the phase one, and yeah, you, know, you know when we done the phase, the phase one emerging last week. Yeah. You, you know you pretty much got control of me, so therefore, you know you've got the time to get the education yeah. in. But, but you know when it's on phase two, then it's it's different kettle of fish, yeah. because I'm yep. driving normally between them, and yep. uh, you, you know everything's happening a lot quicker, isn't it? Yep. You know because you. You know, you can't just slow me right down and say, oh, no more than 10 miles an hour here, cover the brake. Um, you know, because I've got my test in 10 days' yeah, time, yeah. and, uh, you know, you can't do that at phase two, can you? No. Um, but, you know, don't worry about the fact that it's, uh, if you look at anybody, if you ask anybody who's done it for the first time, they will tell